last time we spoke, you talked about wanting to become the Conor McGregor of boxing. You said, I'm going to start wearing some suits, Dev. Good start. Well, looking bad, mate. Looking bad. Shot, look. mate. They've even got the, the champ there. Uh, made from Paul Wilkinson. So can we, wrong, can, wrong we just, can we just zoom in on that? It says the champ, so wonderful. You know. That's a name, don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, what did you make of your man Joe Ham? You faced off with him uh, for the first time, I believe, today. What, what did you think up there? I thought he was very respectful, and, um, mm. and I, I respect him as well. But it's Saturday night, um, there was no respect we're given in that ring. As soon as they get in that ring, all respect goes, and um, shake hands afterwards. But hopefully their face is on the canvas first before... Uh, before we do. This is a step up though, right? This is this is a, a big step in France that you can come in here as well. But you, you feel as though this is a big step up at this point? It's only a step and stone in my career, Dev, where I'm gonna guess. It's only a step and stone in my career. Um they're all step ups. Uh in my eyes. I train like a world champion, every fight's like a world title for me. Um it's just a stepping stone into where I'm gonna go. And um, I think everyone knows that and I know that as well. On Saturday night it's just gonna be the menace is gonna be unleashed. Well, there's no point going sideways, is there? You know, every fight's got to be a little bit step up. There's got to be a reason for it. Um, you know, Dennis and I sat down with Alan, Alan Smith, and you know, we, we formulated a plan a little while ago, and we had a, we had a checklist of things that we wanted to, to, to achieve for this fight. And um, everyone's gone away and done their jobs. And you know, it's now down to this young man to, uh, to go and show that he, he is the real deal. That this step up is not a step too far, and uh, I'm fully confident that we'll see. A, new, a, a, more, a much improved Dennis McCann than the last fight. And that's not saying anything wrong with the last fight. Mm -hmm. I just think that every day in the gym he's learning new things. He's dedicating himself to it. And, uh, you know, if he's, if, he's, if he's this confident, this ferocious now, God help people in a year. Dennis, tell me, this division, by the way, is absolutely on fire. As I said up there, we saw Liam Davis become the European champ next week. You were tweeting away as well. Where do you place yourself in the, in the whole sort of super bantamweight mix in this country right now? I think I'm the, the daddy of the division. I honestly do. I think the man of the division. Um, I'll have a chat with Uncle Frank after this fight and uh, Francis here as well and um, see what they say. But uh, this could be a big unification for the, for the UK. But obviously, we're going to have a chat with Frank first and um, if, he, if he wants to move on to World Honours, I don't know. But I believe I'm the, I'm the, I'm the number one in this division. Um, I really, really believe that. Skills, everything. I've got the skills, I've got the power, I've got the boxing brain, I've got the IQ. I genuinely believe I've got all the credentials the credentials to be a world champion. We're going to see a statement on Saturday night from Dennis McCann. Big serious statement coming. Um, as I said to you before, it's near a stepping stone. Joe Hamm's going to be way in and, and he's going to be out of it Saturday night. Thank you very much, Dennis. Go well. We'll see you at the, uh, the way-in tomorrow.